Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our Rise of the Robots campaign. A campaign where we are trying to beat uh, legendary Iron Man with only Sparks and Psyops plus uh, the Templars. So Psy-active characters and Sparks it is. We are in the mid game. It's going good so far. I would say we're trying to kind of expand and take the world and specifically uh, ramp down all of the alien facilities and for that we need intel and supplies so getting that dark VIP mission is a bit of a disguised blessing. I personally don't like uh, the uh, dark VIP missions a lot because they are timely missions and you can theoretically lose your entire team so it always puts an unnecessary amount of pressure onto the mission. At the other, on the other side if you play them correct then there is a lot that you can get out of it. So we're taking psyactive characters in sparks, lots and lots and lots of sparks. And uh, since our only other Templar is away, we might want to take one person here and that one person is going to be XQS6. Make weapons available, yes please. Make utility items available, even more so please. We got the Mimic Beacons. We got the damn blue screen rounds. We got Superior Repeater, and that should be good to go. Just out of curiosity, if we already have a Superior Repeater. Nah, the Outloader is too good. What are his weapon upgrades? Hair trigger. Well, the hair trigger worked a couple of times, so can't really blame him for that. What are his weapon upgrades? The superior stock is also good. And he already has a scope. Hmm. You know what? We're giving him the superior scope even though it destroys the hair trigger. The scope is just too good to not use it. It's a flat out great ability to um, to hit. Good, how about... Instead of the hair trigger, how about we're giving him a normal scope? I technically prefer scopes over hair triggers. Just upgrading the weapons that we have a tiny bit more. And that extra to hit chance really goes a long way. Mimic beacon. And let's get the school check. I think we don't need three mimic beacons to be honest. Let's instead get the school check and a battle scanner just in case we're fighting against the assassin. I just hate her too much to not use it. And we give the rookie plus 10 aim because why not? Okay, that sounds like a pretty decent setup. Both of them have superior perception as well, or advanced perception, so that's 81 for him. So yeah, we, we should be fine with hitting things. If you're running low level characters, and these here are low level characters, make sure that you try to do whatever you can in order to improve the uh, aim. That's really one of the, if not the most important ability. You want to hit stuff to reduce the RNG nature of the missions. Good, we just landed. And we got three sparks with us. I already mentioned it in urban territory with a lot of up and down and up and down. The sparks are excelling due to their innate ability to just take high ground whenever they want. It's fantastic. Good, the only thing that is not so fantastic is all of them get their little sh uh, shield up before the mission starts. Got 12 turns. 
Might as well use them. Vector here starts out. Oh, cool. The second uh, spark now has a call sign as well. It is called Glaive. I love it. That would make a cool story arc if all of the uh, sparks had kind of a medieval uh, weapon name. Getting it done. Getting it done. Maybe I'll take that as an inspiration for the future. Anyways, we got a close formation. The reason why, and I repeat some of the strategy just to make it clear, the reason why I personally like those sort of close formations is as long as you haven't engaged the enemy uh, there is no risk of eating um, a grenade and thus falling falling down yeah that's all right but uh, our chances to hack it are just too bad and by standing together whenever someone kind of discovers something let's say i go over here and we're now discovering something oh shit then we still have enough uh, enough um, personal to follow up and oh, wait a second we just saw that there's someone down here let me double check i'm just going over all of the fields and seeing which ones are occupied this one here is occupied which tells me there is either a civilian down here or more likely something with a lot of armor which i think i just saw anyways so we're taking high high cover at the spark conveniently enough And XQS 6 goes over here. That means we're losing two overwatch shots, but have a bit of better positioning. Still got a lot of overwatch shots. I knew it. Advanced max down there. Ouch. Oh, I wanted to, hmm, too bad. I wanted to demonstrate the whole flamethrower thing. Okay, next mission. Totally forgot about that. Is you're going to trigger something? Maybe, maybe not. Would be a solid starter. Let's overdrive and just pull them. Like to get their attention. Alright, solid hit for all three of them, and we also shredded them. That was a big fat mistake to go out there. Shield bearer. Done. Perfect, so. Renvin moves into cover and this should be almost a hundred percent shot yeah thanks to blue screen rounds it is pretty damn good oh 
We're continuing to stay uh, stay our uh, course. Don't know how the line of sight to Renvin would modify if I move somewhere else. The reason why I want to continue line of sight is we're inspiring. And I want to feed him some kills. Maybe not the best idea because he does not earn experience. But he has blue screen rounds and I just like the damage. Good. We're moving down here. That's right next to Mr. I take a good hiding spot, but then is being spotted out and of course we're killing the rat. Apparently I learned in uh, Apex, which is an online shooter for those of you who are unaware, uh, there it's kind of a battle royale and there is an actual terminology for hiding, it's called ratting and someone can be a rat. Good. We knew that she might be coming, so we got the battle scanner and I like to use it against her liberally. Chosen assassin's energy signature. She's moving on the squad's position, Commander. <laughs> Good. The squad uh, starts to perform really well nowadays. Moving into a high ground position over here. Fortunately, can't see this guy. Our tank takes a front line position. Good hit onto that purifier. Let's take Vector here. Who moves up and probably finishes him. Wonderful. Good. We know the Chosen started here, so she will require one turn to at least okay. get onto this side. Moving up. We are overwatching. Yeah, she's not going to attack us this turn. She will require one turn to come a bit closer. She decides to summon chrysalids. Ooh, that is nasty. Which also means chrysalids are regular enemies now. Yeah, but what are you going to do against a nice little 15% execution? Exactly. The game still thinks that the chrysalid is running. Let's start with trying to spot her out. Well, how shall I phrase it? I guess you're fucked is the uh, correct word. Overdriving. Someone's got to be feeling the pain in a second. Uh, 
has leveled the entire building. Nice little shell shocking. Driving, you take the high ground, but could as well just shred her. Could use, we could use um, his rocket. If it would be absolute necessary, might as well just take a shot here. Alright, let's give Roby another kill. Battle scanners versus her and cover removal uh, makes for a dead assassin. I am very, very happy with the performance of the sparks here. Overwatch and Renvin here. It's just gonna go down and starts to Overwatch as well. We know there is a final pack here, but I might say I am not afraid of them. We're taking the high ground wherever possible. Good, we just saw them over here. Perfect. Vector takes the high ground as well. Moving into full cover. Roby moves into full cover as well. XQ6 moves into cover. Reload whenever necessary and overwatch wherever possible. Good. If we were to level this here, it'll take away a lot of the cover, right? Right. Just want to make sure it does not kill the dark VIP. Perfect. So we're moving all the way to here.
This here is his full cover. Just moving together with him. Let's move all the way to the edge here. I'm going to need ammunition, Commander. Heading out. Moving to the next viable cover over here. sector it needs to die we don't have that much to lose to be honest and I just want to make sure that we're having a flawless mission I think we haven't taken any damage So a bit wasteful, I get it. On approach. Not sure why exactly he still has full cover. Possible miscalculation. Good, we got another data cage that is extra intel. Best possible find for us at this point in time. And we have plenty of time left over. If you're just running over the enemy, They don't have enough time to find a proper defense. Good, let's subdue him. Her, rather. Status confirmed. Target package in custody. Good. Moving up. Moving out. Roger that. One, two. Three, four, and five. S one five, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Good to go. Good. Like I said, we don't need to farm. Those would be tactics in a run that is more difficult. For us, it's good enough that we had another flawless mission. Pretty much overran her. And we had more than enough consumables left over. So sparks in the mid game, a force to be reckoned with. Good, let's take a look. We got a one promotion. Let's again take Rainmaker, yes please. And before we're forgetting it the next time, by the way, another Larium Core and Data Cache, you that's and perfect. Have dealt another oh, the Data Cache is for today, the potential the intel. Work. No, wait. Did we get intel? No. The mission just gave us a Data Cache, okay, I see. Because the mission rewards indicated that you could get intel. So the third mech, which is now called Victor, you know what? When when the first, uh, second one is called Glaive, mm, 
How about we're calling him? He knows. If there was one thing your father just kept in mind, it Dagger. I like that name better. He so we got Glaive and Dagger. And terms. since Dagger is a short range weapon, we are also giving him a flamethrower. So the difference is same amount of damage. The range is shorter. And yeah, it will set them ablaze. It has only one charge as well, but it has kind of that cone-like charge. So we're going to see how that plays. I, I know how flamethrowers work. There is plenty of that in Long War, but um, yeah, it might be interesting to have that as a tool available. Unfortunately, Roby and Renven do not get any experience, like I mentioned. They only get experience from their training, which is a bit of a waste, but whatever. In this run, I rather prefer having them compared to rookies. We don't need Intel at this point can just research and somehow the game is freezing I don't know what exactly it is okay now it's unfreezing I don't know what exactly it is but normally the game is running very stable anyways we're continuing to get North America I still want that instant contact once that is done Intel is literally the only thing that prevents us from making contact with almost every single region. Leading the resistance is a daunting task, Commander, but your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made the right approach. Listen to this bold statement and bold me being a pun um, because he has a bald head how many things we did in one month and he has the audacity to say your efforts have left many wondering mm -hmm. okay good assassin is getting stronger which means she gets her four skill one more armor and a lot of more uh, a lot of power there will be an additional dark event which sucks with permanent dark events and he's still far behind the curve so we're fine we need to counter the major breakthrough no that cannot happen we cannot allow that to happen i'd rather take the breakthrough but 100 percent higher inter costs permanently mm -mm. that is a no-go okay we're taking away the extra contact and instead Let's increase facility construction speed. I think at this point we really want to sp really speed up our construction. Those can come off uh, can come off when um, we are done with building our base. But it feels we're always waiting to build kind of the next large building. Good, we know the third major alien is uh, there. The elders hunter is after something Good to there. know. Located. We do not currently need a supply drop. How about we're starting installing a radio uh, relay. And that one is an important mission because we're finally getting more Illyrium and more alien alloys. So if we play our cards right, that will be powered armor for us and... Hmm... Maybe upgraded uh, Psi amplifiers. Who knows? That could be a thing. So we still have this power problem. Got to build the power coil down here. And then we can... The bond between these soldiers continues to grow. Oh, wow, we even got bond level 2 between both of them. That's fantastic. And keep in mind, those guys are still rookies. 
That would be hilarious. Rookies with bond level 3. Good. One more day on a covert ops mission. What did we do? Oh yeah, we increased the influence. What else do we have? Breakthrough research for... Yeah. That's not bad. It reduces uh, the cost for expansion. Hmm, that's not... This one is nice as well. Permanent resistance contact plus one isn't bad either. Yeah, but we still can't really upgrade to level three. So maybe I'm just going to do part one here as well, because these are the only missions where there is no chance for soldier capture. And Eric is currently the only one who's able to do it. We can look at the secondary rewards. I mean, resistance contacts are definitely, is definitely good. This one here isn't bad either, just to save some money. So those probably would fit the overall strategy layer at this point so that makes sense the other things are all going according to plan which brings us to the end of today's episode guys uh, if you have enjoyed what you've seen feel free to comment and like down below and see you in the next episode bye bye